Windows 7 reaches end of life in precisely 6 months as of the date of this video. So Windows 7 reaches end of life in January 14, 2020. So this means that Microsoft will no longer support Windows 7 and as a consequence there will no longer be security updates for this operating system. And if we go to Microsoft's website, it tells us that Windows 7 is reaching end of life and they recommend upgrading to Windows 10. Now they didn't give a satisfactory answer on whether you can still upgrade to Windows 10 for free from a Windows 7 OEM license. So I've got this Optiplex 7090. It's an ex-business system that I bought from eBay. And here is its COA and here is its service tag. And this system has never had Windows 10 installed or activated. So if I go through the installation process and select I do not have a product key. And because the COA is for Windows 7 Pro, I'm going to install Windows 10 Pro. So Windows 10 Pro is installed and it isn't activated. So let's just take a step back. Because my Windows 7 edition was professional, I installed Windows 10 Professional. If you had Starter, Home Basic or Home Premium, you would install Windows 10 Home. And if you had Ultimate, you would install Windows 10 Pro. In this screen, you can also input the 25 digit product key from your COA. And if you have a Windows 8 OEM, Windows 8.1 OEM, or Windows 10 OEM license, the product key will also be automatically input. But in my case, I've deliberately installed Windows 10 Pro without the Windows 7 Pro product key. And because Windows 10 Pro has never been activated on this machine, I get this watermark on my desktop after leaving it idle for a few days. And what I'm going to do now is just open up the PowerShell and type in the following line to get the service tag. So you see the service tag matches the service tag on the image that I showed at the start of this video. And I can open up MS Info 32 to get the system information. So I see that this is the Optiplex 790 and it's a Dell system. I also see the version is build 18632, which means it's Windows 10 version 1903. So if I right click the start button and go to settings, we'll once again see that settings is watermarked because Windows isn't activated. And Windows reports that no product key is found for this device. So to rectify this, I'm going to select change product key. And I'm going to type in this 25 digit product key you've seen earlier on the COA. So to prevent piracy, what I've done is faded the last five characters of this product key, but from this you know it's the same product key as on the COA. And I'm going to select next now that I've input this product key and you see that it's accepted the product key and I can go ahead and now select activate. And as you see, Windows 10 Pro has just been freshly activated using an unused Windows 7 Pro OEM product key on a Windows 7 Pro OEM COA. So Windows 7 OEM product keys still activate Windows 10 and the free upgrade to Windows 10 is still available. So if you've been holding off from upgrading to Windows 10 because you thought the free upgrade was over, well, it's not. And you should get to Windows 10 as soon as possible before your insecure Windows 7 reaches end of life. Note that the free upgrade to Windows 10 is not available for Windows 7 volume licenses or enterprise licenses. But most of these systems will also have an OEM license, which you can take advantage of to get the free upgrade.